Hey everybody, it's Joe Chaffee here for SNS Storm Chasers and for meteorologist Joe uh, I want to take a look at the uh, tropics. We've been looking at the tropical Pacific, uh, specifically the Western Pacific, because we're trying to figure out what kind of long range implications this has on our weather pattern here in the eastern United States. And you can see here on this uh, first shot, this is Typhoon Myas, uh, that's north, passing northeast of Japan and um, just to the east of Korea and then moving up into the, toward the Gulf of Alaska. And then it's followed by another, uh, looks like a tropical storm or a possible uh, minimal typhoon that recurves up uh, to the north. And then still a third eventually winds up getting involved in, and moving up to the northeast. And, and you ask why this is important, is that uh, there's a tendency for uh, typhoons, when they recurve up into the westerlies, they uh, energize uh, upper air systems in the Gulf of Alaska, and this in turn can create uh, a trough in the eastern part of the United States. And if that happens, that's something we want to pay attention to, particularly as we get deeper into our own uh, tropical storm and um, hurricane season. Now, I want to backtrack a little bit, and let's go to the short range, because we do have a few things going on um, with regards to the next few days, because we're making a transition now over into a very warm and humid air mass. And when we look at the NAM, it does in that transitional day, which will be Wednesday, uh, it does bring through some downpours. Uh, this is through mid-morning on Wednesday. And when we look at um, the terms of how much rain that is, it really isn't a whole lot. Um, most of the rainfall amounts here, are a couple of little dots of a half an inch here and there. But that's um, at least that's through mid-morning. So um, there might be a few downpours to work through tomorrow and certainly nothing that looks uh, earth shattering or drought busting, which is what we really need. And as we uh, go through the next few days, uh, we're going to have uh, very warm very, to hot conditions um, with the risk for thunderstorms uh, from time to time. And I think most of the thunderstorms are going to wind up being scattered in nature. I just think the NAM kind of overdoes this a little bit. But at least somebody has stands the opportunity to pick up some uh, heavy rainfall. And in some places, it's still very much needed, particularly over parts of eastern Long Island. Um, some parts of the Hudson Valley lacking, some, still some parts of northern New Jersey lacking of rain. Central, southern New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania and points southward are in much better shape. Um, the rainfall has been uh, ample and in some cases substantial over the last number of weeks. So we kind of need to focus our attention on the pockets uh, that have a drought problem. Also very big major drought problem going on uh, in upstate New York. Uh, farms are, are, are being you know basically wiped out of their summer crops because there's been very little rainfall of consequence throughout much of western uh, and uh, northern New York State. We're going to get a little bit of shower activity out of this, but not much. So uh, the bottom line is uh, we're going to see uh, very warm and very humid conditions as we move through the rest of this week and going into this weekend. And I just want to uh, we'll take a look at the upper air, you know, just going back to the subject matter of, of the typhoon activity in the Pacific um, and how it affects the weather here in the eastern states if you... Uh, Look at the GFS. I mean, here's that westerly flow. You've got that east-west ridge that's uh, in the south. And over time, as we go through next week, there, is, there are tr sh little shortwave troughs that are going to be moving through from time to time. So that might keep us out of the heat after this week uh, for a little while. But the troughs seem to get a little stronger and a little more active as we move later in the period. So this could be as a result of the uh, typhoons recurving up uh, into the westerlies. So that pretty much sums it up. We have no major storms. Our tropics are quiet on our side. I don't anticipate any problem, any, anything happening. Here's a satellite view of the tropical Pacific, and here's Typhoon Amias as it moves to the northeast, and you can see this next one getting ready uh, down uh, in the Pacific tropics. It's always really busy. I love these shots. There's always five or six storms just running around, rotating um, uh, on, the, um, on the satellite maps. And as I said, our tropical Atlantic, very, very quiet, and it's forecast to remain so for the next uh, three or four days. Have a good day. Don't forget, SNS Storm Chasers for any severe weather that breaks. Meteorologist Joe .com for latest weather analysis and forecast for uh, much of the northern mid Atlantic and the southern areas of the Northeast, and that includes New York City, New Jersey, Long Island, eastern Pennsylvania, and um, the Hudson Valley and Connecticut.